Hi and welcome to Nina Cucina. In today's online cooking class, I'm going to teach you how to make my roasted chicken stuffed under the skin. It's hearty, healthy, and delicious. Your family will just love it. Now the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to remove the innards and we're going to butterfly it. So you're going to need some trusty shears. These are kitchen shears and they will cut through just about any bone. You're going to be amazed when you see this. Now this you're wondering, what is that? Well this is Nina's trusty freezer bag that she has chicken bones in. Every time I debone a bird or I roast a bird and I get innards, all the innards and the bones go into this bag in my freezer and every month or so I make myself a big pot of chicken stock by just throwing a bunch of veggies in a pot and these bones with some water and some wine and some herbs and spices. It's absolutely delicious and it's so economical. Now I've got the innards out. I'm just going to cut out. You have a little button here. I'm going to get rid of the fat. Just going to snip it right out of there. Just like that. Now, let's put this bird on the board. Now this is my meat board. I have separate boards for both meat and veggies. I suggest you do that. You don't want to cross contaminate. I'm going to just pop these into my freezer. Now, lay it breast down. And you're just going to take your trusty shears and you're going to run them right down the side of the backbone here. You'll be able to feel the spine right along here and you're just going to snip right through it. See how easy that is? Make your life easy in the kitchen. With a knife, this is much tougher, especially for us girls. See how easily that comes out? And it just goes right into my bone bag that I keep in my freezer. This is the key to really economical, delicious chicken stock. I'm going to lay the chicken bone side down, breast side up, onto a broiler pan. Now I've covered it in tin foil and then I've laid a piece of parchment paper on top so we don't get any tinny flavors. This really helps you with cleanup. I'm just going to make it a little flat, give it a little push with the heel of your hand. I'm going to tuck the little wings in and keep it nice and neat. Just like that. And we'll get started with the stuffing. And I've got some secret ingredients that are going to make you really healthy. Now let's get started with the stuffing. Now the trick to my stuffing is all of these vegetables are going to go into it. Shh, nobody's going to know. It's going to taste just like stuffing your grandma used to make. So let's get started with chopping. I've got about three, three, four carrots here. My recipe calls for three medium. A couple of these were a little small, so I just added one. You just need to give it a little head start. Just taking off the ends. I'm just going to toss them right into my garbage can. Now I've got here a red pepper. I'm just going to run my knife down the sides, just like that, to get rid of the core. And once again, I'm just going to give this a really gruff chop. And into the prep bowl it goes. Now the recipe calls for two zucchini and I'm going to save one that I had here on my plate because I usually have a little bit extra stuffing and then I'll just stuff slices of the zucchini. It looks great on the plate. Everybody loves it. Last but not least, a couple of stalks of celery, and I have a large 
chopped onion already in the bowl. And now we're gonna get started with the basil. Isn't that gorgeous? You're gonna need mm, about a quarter of a cup. Now, if you really love basil, use more. If you're not so crazy about it, use less. It really is to personal taste. I love basil. It's probably my favorite herb, so I'm gonna use lots. Once again, this doesn't have to be chopped very finely because it's gonna go right into the food processor. You just wanna get kind of the leaves broken down into a prep bowl it goes. I'm gonna scrape every last little leaf up. Now, let's get started with this food processor. The way that you're gonna do this is you're going to start with the toughest vegetables first. So that would be your carrots and your celery. I'm gonna give those a quick spin around and get them started. Now they've got a good little chop going on there. Then I'm gonna go on with my nice red pepper. And I'm gonna to toss in my zucchini. down. So my bowl is getting pretty full. Now I'm going to add my onions. I'm just going to give those a quick spin. Oh, it's looking good in there. I can already smell all the aroma of the vegetables. It really gives this dish such flavor and nobody knows they're there. So now a little secret ingredient. This is two slices of nitrate-free bacon that I'm dropping in. I've just sliced it into chunks. Now I avoid nitrates and nitrites because a lot of people get migraines from them. So I like getting the uncured organic bacon. I'm gonna give that a quick spin. For a binder, instead of breadcrumbs, because if you've been watching me for a while, you know that I cook totally gluten-free, these are walnuts. That's where the omega-3 fatty acids are coming from, and this is really heart healthy. Walnuts are also great for your brain because your brain is made up of omega-3 fatty acids. Now I'm gonna add my spices. I've got some sea salt, just about a teaspoon, about a half a teaspoon of hot smoked paprika. You can use sweet smoked if you don't like hot very much. I like just a little bit of kick. About a quarter teaspoon of nutmeg and a quarter teaspoon of cayenne just to give it a kick up. Love cayenne. Now, I've got a couple of teaspoons of minced garlic. Now you can add as much garlic as you want. I love garlic. Let's give that a spin together. Just gonna give that one more scrape down. Now it's beginning to come together and it's gonna kind of look like a very soft stuffing, maybe a little bit soupy. Perfect. Let me add my herbs at the very last because you want a nice smooth mixture for the herbs to go into. Get that basil mixed in. Stuff it. And you can see all the color in there. Orange and red and green. That means antioxidants. And it not only means antioxidants, but it means tons of flavor. Give out that stuffing. You can see all the color in there. 
orange and red and green, that means antioxidants. And it not only means antioxidants, but it means tons of flavor. Now, I'm gonna grab my chicken and we're gonna do something a little special. I'm gonna just stick my fingers under the skin and you're gonna notice when you do that, that there's a little tendon running down the center of the breastbone. And you're just gonna loosen that with your fingers. Now, if you need a little help with a paring knife, you can certainly use one. Just be careful, try not to puncture the skin. If you do, it's not a big deal. I do it all the time and it still looks great. You're gonna notice how much elasticity the skin has. I'm running my fingers all the way down the thighs and into the leg. More room for yummy stuffing. All the way up the breast. I'm just gonna take some of this stuffing and you can see how moist it is. I'm gonna just push it underneath the skin and I like to start way at the back of the breast. Just like that. And you'll be able to play with it. And I'm stuffing it all the way down the thighs because the person that likes dark meat wants to have some stuffing too. Stuff and I've got one little tear in the skin that I'm going to toothpick. I'm going to first grab a damp paper towel here and I'm just going to wipe off the skin to get my little messy stuffing hands. Got all over this skin and I just want to clean it off just for presentation purposes. That is good. Beautiful. I'm going to grab just a little toothpick or two. And the little hole that I made, I'm just going to give it a little repair job. All you have to do is pull the skin across and right down into the breast of that meat and it'll hold pretty well. I'm gonna use one more. It'll kind of cook its way closed. I'm gonna pop this into a preheated 400 degree oven for about two hours because this is a five and a quarter pound bird. You want to cook it for about 25 minutes per pound. Now here I come again with my chicken bone bag. Believe it or not, I'm going to throw those stems right in there because they will go into my chicken stock when I'm ready to make it. Here I come again with my chicken bone bag. Believe it or not, I'm gonna throw those stems right in there because they will go into my chicken stock when I'm ready to make it. I'm also gonna slice up this zucchini. And I'm just going to make a little crater in the middle with the point of my knife. And I'm just going to Top these with just a little bit of stuffing. Make it look cute. Round it off at the top just like that. Now I'm just going to pop these into the refrigerator and I'll put them into the oven with the chicken about 15 minutes before it's done. At about an hour into the cooking, I'm gonna check that bird and make sure the skin's not getting too brown and if it is, I'll put just a layer of tin foil over it to keep it nice and golden. My chicken has about 15 minutes left roasting. So I've got my stuffed veggies 
in a nice casserole dish and I've poured just about a quarter cup of white wine on the bottom just to keep them moist. I'm just going to cover them and slide them into the oven next to my chicken. Just going to peel off the tin foil here. I put that on about halfway through. And man, does that ever look and smell delicious. And I've got these veggies that I baked up. They're really steaming hot. There you go. I'm gonna take a bunch of parsley and just put some green around it. I'm going to carefully, carefully place some of these veggies around the platter. Is that gorgeous or what? Doesn't that look like a great cozy dinner? I hope you enjoyed today's online cooking class. Thanks for joining me today at Nina Cucina. I'll see you next time.